right, hello guys, um, Miss Taylor here. Going to continue our talks about color pencils and shading. Today we're gonna be doing three different spheres. We have analogous, complementary, and monochromatic. This first video is going to be about analogous uh, spheres. So analogous, as we remember from our worksheet, is colors that are neighbors on the color wheel. So if we are taking a peek at our color theory wheel, um, yellow, yellow, green, green, blue would be an analogous color scheme. Or red, orange, orange, yellow, and yellow, orange, okay? So they're gonna be the colors that are closest to each other, however you move it, okay? So, y'all are able to choose any of those color schemes. I think for this one, I'm gonna do the warm tones. So I think I'm gonna do red, red, orange, orange, and uh, yellow, orange, okay? So, using my color pencils, I'm gonna get my red, yellow, and orange out. And these will be the colors that we use. I could probably even go for a little red violet, but we'll see what we're working on. Okay, so I'm gonna start by putting in the lights, which are going to be with yellow. And I'm gonna say that my light source is coming from the right. So I'm just gonna carefully, using my scrambling, put some yellow in and get lighter as I work my way out. Along the base, I'm gonna come in with red. So this is gonna be where our shadows are. Still not being super hard and pressing down because I'm gonna wanna get some mixtures in there. And then in the center, I'm feeling there's gonna be a lot of oranges. Okay. So now that I kind of have my base put down, my shadows in here, I wanna start trying to get the in-between tones. So I have yellow, orange, and red right now, but what I really wanna get is that yellow, orange, so I'll come in with a layer of orange over the yellow. And then I'm gonna come back in with that yellow. And if I wanted to, I could do this with just the yellow and the red. with just varying degrees of both. Now I'm gonna come in with my red. Shadow's gonna be dark and that's gonna be where I add in a little purple, but I'm gonna do it by mixing with the violet blue. For a red purple, a red violet. I won't be able to just skip and do violet because that 
is not a neighbor of our reds. If we had a large analogous color scheme, it would fit in. But I'm thinking it's kind of fun to challenge ourselves. Get a little bit of that shadow up on the edges of our circle, our sphere. And it's just barely gliding over the top of the paper. Because our key player is we want it to be red, purple, or red, violet. Let's start mixing some yellow to try to get these oranges to really pop. You really want to make sure you're getting that overlap kind of coming in. So then it doesn't just look like rings. You will kind of see that, but that is not our goal. Remember, circles are most vital. going to start burnishing now. When I burnish, I use the lightest color on top, just so then it doesn't get completely overpowered by the darker color. So for this edge, the blue that we put in to mix is gonna be too dark. Whereas for the center section, the red will be too dark for the orange. So the orange is gonna be what we burnish with. Once we get up here, yellow. Check our shadows out down here. That'll be another red burnish, but we're making that red purple, the red violet.
we've got ourselves an analogous sphere. Y'all are more than welcome to try it using some of our other analogous colors, such as any of the cool colors you might want to do, or maybe you want to try and get like a yellow, orange, yellow, yellow, green, combine some cool and warm colors, but take your time and y'all got it.